What's going on guys, Dilber here, and today I'm bringing you my treasure map playthrough. I know I'm a little bit late, uh, it's already been a couple of days gone past, and I'm in, I'm in like my, my 40 second run at the moment. But, um, okay, and my recording has frozen for whatever reason. Okay, let's just hope we get back. Um, for some reason it's frozen. Give me a sec. Okay. I think I've got it down now, guys. Um... Wait, okay, cool. If there's a little bit of lag, I'm sorry, I just wanna... I think I know what the issue was now. I think I was trying to record my screen for the audio as well as... Ooh! Four. Oh, that's right. As well as, uh... <laughs> stream it to my computer for the actual recording. Oh, we actually got a, tr a large training trip. That actually isn't bad. Okay, guys, so... Basically, this treasure map is the future of treasure cruise. Um... So, so what we're trying to do is spin... The, uh, the, what's it called? The log pose. And just get through the map as fast as you can while, try, while earning treasure points, which are up the top. I'll have an arrow pointing there. Um, and increase your rank and get the most amount of rewards that you can. Uh, the one bad thing about treasure map is it, the constant um, loading screens you get, like non stop loading screens. So, whilst you're in the actual map stage, oh, I'll just use the wrong team, but whatever. You want to use your highest point boosting team that you have, so that would be obviously with a friend buggy, a buggy on your team if you were lucky enough to pull him, uh, Lucy, Law, and uh, yeah. This team is the team I used to face Mihawk. I actually, I've got two different Lucy teams set up, so uh, I can have enough to uh, face, have enough points, have enough uh, damage to take Mihawk out. But, uh, so what you're aiming to do is take down as many bosses on the way to Mihawk that you can. So currently this is Moria, uh, so he'll give me not very much trouble. Just it's easier when you have the low cooldown buff, uh, especially for the earlier stages, just so you can um, smash through all these uh, mini bosses as fast as you possibly can, and um, it just makes your life a hell of a lot easier. If you have B2 or 6 plus on your team here, you can actually just use his special. This clears everything, and I think me uh, Mihawk. I think uh, Moria survives with like a sliver of health. But yeah, as you can see, my team is filled with just point boosters. Every single one of my uh, units on this team is a, a point booster. And yeah, see, Moria has very, very little health on the map. Like, they will provide you no, no real issues during the uh, middle of the map. What you want to do is, uh, so I know I'm saying R a lot, it's just I haven't recorded live for a very, very long time. So yeah, once you take down all four of the mini bosses, or two or three, or have, however many it allows you to do throughout the run, uh, they will. When you get to Mihawk, they will have a much lower HP bar, so they be and they'll have a gloom on them. Is what it's called. I'll get this fixed. I know. I've had this map so many times that I know. Oh, Cola, literally the worst one you can get. I know which route you have to take to verse all the bosses. You can easily just check as well, but I'm lazy. Uh, so along the map there's these treasure chests, as you can see I've already picked up two, and there's also buffs and debuffs. So there's buffs like uh, boosting all you, all kinds of units by, uh, I think it's like two times. There's also like boosting slashes, boosting powerhouse, boosting driven, uh, lowering cooldowns, and then there's debuffs which is like half attack, half HP, um, half recovery, all that kind of stuff. So some, some debuffs can actually be good, like I love going into, uh, the best debuff I reckon to have is the half recovery because you don't actually stall. You don't need to stall. You don't need to have all your recovery and all that stuff. So I can lose the best ones. Oh, I just realized my, my phone's right next to my mic. You can probably hear the sound coming through. Let me turn that down real quick. And yeah, so as you can see, they have like very little health. Uh, so even like Buggy, who doesn't boost law, uh, Lucy Coliseum, or, or my legend Lucy, is still giving me enough of a boost to take down like these bo uh, these mobs and also the bosses. So I'll just pop a buggy because it's got the orb boost and the damage reduction and the damage reduction and the uh, shield reduction. And just take out these units nice and quick. So yeah, if if my audio for whatever reason isn't working because it doesn't look like it is working, I will have to um, just chuck some uh, audio in the back of this. So I'll have to look for. Uh, there's some non-copyright sounds, or just some one-piece audio to chuck in the background of this, because 
It's nothing's worth him just hearing me talking and uh, dead dead silence when I'm when I'm not. Um, so yeah, you want to try and get to these chests and okay, I'm gonna get, you know first buff here. So this buff here is um, two times attack the strikers, which is actually pretty good considering my, my Lucy team does have a, a fair amount of strikers. So we've got a one, and this is our first debuff. This debuff is half attack, point five attack for slashes. So if all your slashes do uh, reduce damage, which can be a pain in the ass, uh, some with some that you get, you might get to the, uh, you might get to the boss Mihawk, and you might have only a, a negative buff and no positive buff to counteract it, which sucks. I just got the half stem, half stamina uh, buff, which will take me to, so all my. Oh, I'm not going to keep it though, damn it. So what the half stamina buff would have, would have done is by five turns half stamina, uh, half stamina, half cooldown, sorry. Uh, and that would allow me to have, when I first join a lobby, uh, a lobby, a, a boss, uh, I would have my usual two turns extra cooldown. And then on top of that, I would also have the five turns that that gave me. And as you can see, I'm swapping back and forth between buggy captains so I can get a friend buggy up real quick and then swap back to my... Uh, max point boost the team is it's a 13.12 times boost, which is how I'm getting so many points. Like each run, I'm estimating roughly about just shy of a million, maybe a million points per run, because the higher up you get, the higher higher of a multiplier you get, and just keeps uh, timesing. But uh, you got to take into mind that if, the higher you go, the more health Mihawk has, and the more more damage that can be done to you. So you just have to be uh, really careful about what you're doing and changing your team up all the time. Uh, my my original team actually to take down Mihawk had a uh, featured war on it, but it can't, got to the point where if I wanted to still use a buggy friend captain, it wasn't enough damage. So I had to get around that somehow. Uh, so what that what I did was I exchanged it for Cavendish. That was a I thought I'd try my luck with uh, an orb shuffle. It did not go in my favour. Okay, let's just hopefully. Okay, well, we'll take. Nearly all the mobs out. That's annoying. And that was my Facebook. Cool. Hope that doesn't go off again. Uh, 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 we'll see. So as you can see, like because uh, my buggy does not boost me very much, it, I do stru struggle to take down some of the units over one or two turns. Also, because uh, my debuff, I've also got a debuff on slashes. I think it is. So Zora did reduce damage, as did Law. Which can be all the difference in uh, taking out. So as you can see, I've taken out two bosses now. So which is uh, so I've taken down Moria, Boa, oh three, and Doflamingo now. So now the only one left is Kuma. If I was on this stage and had to choose between two or three, I generally most of the time I'll take down Kuma and Moria just because uh, they annoy me the most. My dad. Oh, we've got a debuff, which is health down, which isn't bad because we don't again we don't take many hits. As you can see, I run out of my stamina because you only get 100 stamina no matter what level you are. And I had to refill it. So it's the same as normal. It refills your stamina if you spend one gem. Uh, it doesn't refill your, your um, main stamina. So I've seen that being asked a lot. My Discord's going off right now. Uh, five. Okay. I'm hoping to get a one for that chest. So yeah. So you see. So you. you uh, excuse me. You want to see all those meat like in a tray there. Uh, that's a stam refill, so it could be either uh, 50, 75, or 100% uh, refill, which can be very, very handy because, as you can see, I just had to refill mine. Uh, it's not the right team. This is, and which is like which can be really, really handy and really, really clutch because I've been I've actually gotten to that and got 100% refill when I was down to one stam stamina left, which is awesome. So I didn't have to refill. I didn't have to waste a gem because I will be farming this a hell of a lot to get those rewards and you want to get as many rewards as possible because the higher rank you are, the better rewards you get. So like there's tablets, there's um, uh, guidance stones, there's, um, there's even USBs you get in there. I think they're guaranteed USBs too. So there's some, there's some amazing, amazing uh, rewards to be earned. So what can we do here? He's gonna blow away two of your units at random, any of the bottom two, so there you go. Um, I'm just going that for the ore boost. And that'll take him out. So as you can see, they've got very, very little health. Um, so there's not really much to worry about. No matter what team you make, you can probably take them out. Um, you want them to drop uh, gold chests because that's where you get like all your chunks, which are the medium crystals. And uh, if they drop a rainbow chest, it's going to be a potion or an orb, which is really, really cool. 
And yeah, as you can see, I'm probably gonna get to 19 million by the end of this too. Okay, cool, I've got a chest. So, from the gold chest you can also get orbs, turtles, uh, cola, belly, pigs, and uh, everyone's personal favorite, the tablets. Tablets are, are really, really rare to get. I've only got dropped four, and I'm at like, okay, so it looks like I'm going with a fighter boost and a HP debuff. Okay, so we've got the four bosses here. Uh, I've got, see how have the, excuse me, they've all got gloom on them, which means I've taken them out in the, uh, along my way to Mihawk. So you'll see what that means when we start battling them. So I've got specific teams built for all of them. So Gear 4, I've got for my... So my Gear 4 team is against uh, Moria, just because he's specially so overpowered against Moria and it's just really, really easy to take them out. Okay. Cool, cool. So you start out with these raccoon dudes. If you leave any alive, they'll just uh, swap... Uh, I think it's like strength or like quick and dex orbs to uh, bomb, but easy to take me out because we've got the fighter boost, which is actually amazing because that means we'll be able to take down um, ores with a, just a gear four special. You won't have to worry about stalling for uh, the second level of uh, his special. I don't think I'm. I don't think his H HP increases from um, level up. I think it's only Moria and. Maybe some of the mobs. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. Uh, oh, I was missed that. Oh, I missed that. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, with my layout, I could only fit uh, four recommended teams. So the, the fifth recommended team, I'd say, is probably a shooter team with uh, Ace, if you have him. Uh, I know that all the recommendations are legends, but that's just because we had all the six pluses being boosted. Oh wow. Okay, so maybe it's maybe I did need the tier two to take him out. That's annoying. So yeah, um, yeah, all the recommended teams are legends because uh, they did a pool of legends and also every single six plus because of uh, the most recent Sugar Fest we had, which was uh, six plus uh, raid up. So yeah, so yeah, as you can see, Moria was on twenty percent health. So all we need to do, all I had to do was use a special to take him out, and it was just that e it was so easy, done and dusted, very very quick. Okay. And then, you, as you can see, after every battle, even I forgot to mention earlier, uh, they earn mastery points. So it's like the potions, so it saves you from having to waste potions on them. Not even waste, but like use potions, so it's, it's just more efficient. Uh, I maxed my Lucy from just mastery points from running this because I, it's easy in every single team I use. And I've done like 46 runs. I know it says it's on my 41st right now, but I did fail a run because I didn't have a team made up. So. And when you do fail a run, you lose five, um, oh, I can't remember what they're called, but like, it's like losing five runs, so it takes your countdown, so my countdown would be at 46 right now, but currently it's at 41, which you don't want to lose too many runs, because the higher runs you're on, the higher multiplier you get, and, yeah, you just want to make sure you're uh, consistently winning. I, I, I've even spent gems to stay alive, because, I, because I've made stupid mistakes when, I've when I'm tired and that, so you just want to make sure you're killing them. As fast as you can. If you have to spend a gem to knock it, knock down. If you, if you feel like you can, you can do that. If you have the, um, enough gems to uh, spend on treasure mode, if you really want to get those rewards, I highly recommend it. I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, spending a gem just for a little bit more success, uh, because it's going to take a while just to grind back out those five other ones. Because each run is roughly about 15 to 20 minutes, depending on how lucky you are with the rolls. And here we are. I just want to use an orb boost special. Um, two attacks will take him down. See, let's see, all of them are on two, uh, are on 20% health. Very easy. Kuma dropped a gold chest for me. Let's hope I can chop. I'm looking for green, char uh, green medium chunks of uh, crystals. Let's see if we can get one. Fuck, it's a red. But okay, red's still good. I do need a lot of, a lot of red because I am trying to also limit break my Lucy. So red and green, I'm very happy getting because I've just finished limit breaking my Hody, my Shiro Hoshi, uh, my Colosseum Lucy. So I've limit broken a fair few things. But. That now I'm working on, uh, I think it's Cavendish and Lucy. So, green and red, I'm happy to get. So as you can see, all my units are yellow and boosted. There you are. So I had to move my law into this team. So this team actually has a higher boost than like my Gear 4 team and my uh, Lucci team because it has a law who is a, I think, 1.35 booster. So which is really, really good. 
Uh, as you can see, I'm using the Going Luffy Senpai over the bike. Uh, can be a pain sometimes, especially when getting those uh, meat orbs on Neko. But in the, in the long run, it's so much better because I only have to store one turn for Neko Special. Uh, I'm actually at the point where I should probably start stalling for uh, Virgo Special as well because of the orb boost. Which I might do for this run because last run he actually gave me some trouble. Take him out. So yeah, it's only a couple of turns stall really. It's so much easier if you have the um... Oh I can't. I need to survive now, he'll blind me. Yeah, it's so much easier if you have the cooldown buff or the attack up buff because yep, there's no need, really need to stall because I won't need his uh, Virgo special. And yeah, so if you leave these guys alive past two turns, they'll actually roll back a strength character special, which doesn't bother me too much because I'm not planning on using Barto special. Um, I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, okay. I might have to stall a little bit during Dofi as well, because I didn't stall in the early stages. I kind of decided to stall halfway through the dungeon, which is a pain in the ass, because since Dofi has no preemptive, so let's just do that. Uh, Neko has a lot of health, so hopefully I can survive these, both of these hitting me. Yeah, that's, oh, that's a big hit. Okay, yeah, I should be fine though. Sweet, okay. There you go, Neko special. Does a lot of damage to the side to the interdofi Virgo special, and we should be right to take them out from here. Yeah, there you go. I just want to. I was just to be safe, make sure I can take them out. Because if uh, you t kill one dofi and not the other, the, hit, the other will revive him at full HP. So you just got to be careful. I just want to make sure I can take them both out in one hit. I know I survived that because of uh, I've actually killed. I've actually done this actually plenty of times. I've had to spend a gem because of loot because of, uh, I lost. So yeah, just gotta be really careful with all your teams, guys. Yeah, see, see Mashiro Hoshi there was Max, because I Max limit broke her. I actually had to spend some potions on her to get her to Max, because I wasn't using her as much as I was, like, Lucy and stuff. Okay, and the final the final team is against Boa, and that is my Ace team. Uh, Ace can be swapped out as a captain for, like, Kuzan, or, like, um... Really, I mean, if you have V2 you could use her, but she's not a point booster, so... It just depends. This is the most optimal shooter team you can build. Jeol is just there because she's a point booster. And Ace and uh, Kuzan are interchangeable as captains. Uh, 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 I've seen a lot of people who have been using Kuzan over Ace, but I don't care. Like They're both just as efficient. If it gets to the point where uh, Ace isn't doing it for me anymore, I'm going to have to swap, swap the captains, which would be easy enough. I've got plenty of friends with either Ace or Kuzan. Oh, Gold Chest has probably gotten candy, though. Um... Yeah, there's not really much to say about this boss. I I'm actually finding it very easy, but my account is uh, quite experienced, quite a monstrous account. So, um, not everyone's going to have the units that I have. This is a horrible set of orbs. Let's see if we can actually take this out. Okay, yep. Easy. Easy, easy. The only downside about Ace, I guess, is probably the fact that he does need matching orbs to be, like, viable. But as you can see, Bo is on 20% uh, health as well. So I'm going to delay her, which is also a 10% health cut, and use Kuzan special to take out the back mobs. Doesn't always take them out, uh, so I'm going to use a Boa special as well. And so we can take. Oh, that's annoying. So you want to take out Boa because she will bind your crew for like five turns, I think it is, or something like that. But it's it's not fun. And then uh, the girls in the back will just paralyze you, so that's no big deal. You can just take them out very very easily just a turn longer. So there's no big about that. Kuzan probably in that res retrospect uh, is probably better as a captain just because you can use double Kuzan special to take out the back mobs. So it's hit, like it's whatever you want to do really. It's no big deal. And I've got Facebook coming up. Probably should have muted Facebook before I started recording. But, what's good? Okay, so now we're up to Mihawk. Mihawk is the final boss, so I'm gonna choose my buggy team here. Just so I can get a friend captain buggy up. There we go. And then switch to my best team to take him out. Full of point boosters. Um, also, uh, the best possible damage. I think this is the best team you can make uh, damage wise with point boosters. Uh, best point boosting team, you'd have to switch out Cavendish for. Uh, I think it's V2 uh, Law 6 Plus. Stop messaging me, guys. <laughs>
Okay. Take out all the ones on one cooldown. This is where you want to stall. And I personally, I like to make sure I have two uh, matching orbs on my buggies. There we go. Drop the turtle. There we go. And finish these guys off. There we go. Okay, now we're just moving on to Mihawk. So this is Mihawk on stage 4. He will do a preemptive damage. I use a Lucy special, uh, Lucy special and a Buggy special to lower defense because at this point his defense is actually quite substantial. And then I just attack in the right order. There we go, made sure I hit uh, at least four perfects so I can get the, uh, the two times attack buff for the next round. So th there we go, he has a delay protector. He also has a shield. And he has extra health bar, which is like a, another barrier. Yes, Buggy has matching orbs, sweet. So this is probably the most amount of damage I'm ever going to be able to do with this team. <laughs> use Buggy to, to knock the shit away. And use Cavendish, so all block orbs turn to matching. Let's see how well I go here. I did a great there, because Versi would just fire, so... But, you can get, I think you can get up to like 10 million damage if you hit all perfects or something like that, including like Cotton Candy and stuff. But yeah, it's a pretty pretty solid team. Come on. Yeah, ugh, two yellows. Damn, I would have killed for that ages ago, but... I actually didn't get up a rank from that. I'm very, very surprised. I stayed at 54 the whole run. Oh, there you go. That's a, that's a clear... Pretty, pretty easy. And that was much easier because I had all of the uh, mini bosses on the way to the final mini bosses. So, um... So, if we go to the rewards... So this is what you get for just clearing the first 1 million points. This will I've got all of this already because I'm well and truly past the threshold. But yeah, on the way up you get a fair few rewards which is really, really cool. And then if I go into ranking, uh, like ranking rewards, you have all the rewards like top 50, which is, I'm trying to stay in the top 50, so I've got, I've got a little ways to go to pick farming. And yeah, I think that's about it for the list of units. So there you go, you got Buggy as a... Uh, 2.5, uh, 2 times booster, Zoro 1.5, yeah, and Lucy and Law 1.35, and then you just have the rest right there of just units that are trusty characters as they're calling it right now. But, um, yeah, we'll just quickly look over my Mihawk and then I'll end it there. So, there's my Mihawk, he's completely rainbow maxed, uh, max special, max, uh, level, max cotton candy, max sockets, max, uh, limit break, uh, abilities as well. So yeah guys, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more One Piece Treasure Cruise content. As well as follow me on Twitter for more updates about my, uh, about my uploading schedule. Uh, since I am back at uni, I have dropped off with the uploads. I do have a Raid Frankie upload to, um, to upload uh, very, very soon. I know he's well and truly gone, but uh, I just thought may as well upload it still in case people want, would like it for when he returns. But anyway guys, don't, I've already said don't forget all that and all that stuff, so I'll see you guys next time. Catch us later.